Aries, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your monthly love reading from August 15th to September 15th, 2018. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If the reading does not resonate for you, Aries, please watch your other signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Instant Go if you would like a question answered. The links to everything that you guys need are right below in the description box. And Aries, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified when I post your readings. Aries, Spirit, Sun, Moon, and Rising Suns. In Love, August 15th to September 15th, 2018 for Aries. Two of Cups did just slip up for you guys. Could be a soulmate connection there. Meeting someone new. If you're already partnered, you're spending more time together. Deepening that bond. All right, Aries. That feels really good. We're doing it. A lot differently this month. I'm using the witch's tarot for you guys. Let me get situated here. I've been sitting here a while. Okay, Aries. Okay, magician. Nice. I like. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, ouch. Three of Swords. All right, the Six of Pentacles. King of Wands. Temperance. Wheel of Fortune. Chariot. Eight of Wands. And your overall energy for the month is the King of Cups. All right, so some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Others of you, an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, with the Queen of Pentacles. But there is definitely Aries, unfortunately. Some kind of heartbreak around this person. This could have been a breakup or a divorce. You could just be separated from someone that you love. Or there's been or there's been something painful. I, so I just feel like if there's been a breakup or a divorce with an earth sign. There could still be a positive outcome. And with the Six of Pentacles, you know, this is that very, you know, generous energy. It's giving and receiving. So I do feel like for some of you, you could be receiving what you deserve. You know, I do feel like, you know, your heart is absolutely broken, no doubt. It could be, it's probably, could be because of this earth sign or this water sign. I don't know. It's hard to tell in a general reading, but. But it's like, you're still going to receive what you deserve. It could be that this earth sign comes back to you. Or it could be that you're meeting someone better. And of course, for those of you that are single. Where there was a breakup, there could be an earth sign coming in for you as well. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I do see for those of you that have been hurt. Whether it was 
because you were arguing, there was a misunderstanding, there was a breakup, maybe even a divorce. I do still you re still see you receiving the love and the generosity that you deserve. Now here in this row, you have the King of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign. But I feel here this is very much your energy. You know, being in control. You know, fiery, passionate, determined. You have temperance here. Which is telling you to be patient. Which I definitely feel like, you know, could be you if you have Sagittarius in your chart. But, you know, you have such a contradiction here. You know, with temperance and the magician. You know, the magician, I mean, it just, it feels that way to me. With temperance and the magician. there There is a contradiction here. The magician tells me that you have absolutely everything that you need to make things work out. You know, you're creating all the magic. And whatever happens in your love life is going to because you manifested it. You made it happen. Happen. You know, and looking at the magician next to the king of wands, it could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, but I also do feel like this could be that this is you. Because the Magician and the King of Wands are very similar. You know, the Magician is you creating your own reality. You know, makes things happen in their love life. This person goes after what they want. They're very fiery, passionate, driven, determined. You know, just like the Magician. But for some of you with temperance... You might be in this energy of temperance. You know, you, you just, you're just being patient, watching things happen. This is a card of non-action, but this is also your, your guardian angel, you know, your spirit guides guiding you, protecting you, guiding you on the path that you're meant to be on. And with the six of pentacles, you are getting what you deserve. So I feel for some of you, you could you might be contacting an ex, letting them know that you're still thinking about them, you maybe trying to work things out with them. For those of you that are totally single, I feel like you need to be more proactive in your love life. You, you might be just being patient and waiting. I feel like this is a choice of, of yours. But there's definitely movement with the Wheel of Fortune. There is movement in your love life. Things are turning in your favor. You know, and some of you definitely could be traveling. You have two travel cards here. You know, if you're involved with someone that is at a distance, you could be traveling to see them. Some of you could be doing some online dating, but there is absolutely travel here. There's forward movement in your love life, positive changes in your life after dealing with some, you know, painful, heartbreaking situation. If there's going to be movement in your love life, if there's going to be excitement, changes for the better it's all going to be because of you because of the decisions that you're making you know you're choosing to take action with the magician the king of wands but i feel like some of you are hurting for whatever reason and i feel now is the time with the wheel of fortune you know, this is karma, destiny, things happening at the precise moment in time that they're meant to happen. Regardless of what it is. I'm going to get you guys some additional cards. 
sorry, I needed a quick drink. Not clarifying cards. We're going to use a different deck for that. Just additional cards with the Crystal Visions deck. Ace of Swords. Wow, and the Two of Cups. And that fell out for you guys before. What do we have here? The Hangman. Okay. So, I mean, there's definitely a soulmate relationship here. The Two of Cups. You know, these two people have a strong bond. And it did fall out for you guys before. So, this wants to be heard. There's a deep connection. This is someone that you feel very close to. You know, but unfortunately with the Hangman, again, you know, you're very, you're stuck. You know, there is a soulmate connection, but this relationship is in limbo. It could be that there has been a breakup. You don't know where things stand, or it could be your partner that doesn't know what's going to happen. You know, this is things being unsettled. But, you know, always with the hanged man, it is a temporary energy. You know, I hear... A change in perspective. This is a change in perspective. This is clarity, truth. It could even be if you did go through a breakup and there's been a lot of heartbreak, disappointment, sadness. It's because you've been stuck. It could be that maybe you've been stuck in a very painful place. But there is going to be insight, clarity. Things are going to be, you know, they're going to be changing the way that they've been thinking or you are. I do feel like you are the one that is going to be taking action because the King of Wands and the Magician just are really standing out to me. And you are, you know, you are a fire sign. Whatever is happening in your love life, I feel like You need to pull all of the swords out of your heart and say, that's it. You know, enough is enough. This is what I want. Because there really is, there is so much change and a lot of excitement around you. You might need to change the way you're thinking, but also make sure that you're not giving someone a free pass when it comes to your relationship. Like, are you allowing someone to get away with all kinds of bullshit? Are you allowing someone to lie and not holding them accountable? Because there is this energy of someone definitely being stuck and in limbo. And that is not what you deserve. You know, for some of you, you could be dealing with a water sign. That is smack dab right in the middle of all this. This could be your partner, your spouse, someone you're dating. If you're single, this is someone that's affecting your relationship. You have three court cards here. An earth sign, a fire sign, and a water sign. This is your energy. So if you're female, you're dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. If you're male, you're dealing with the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You 
or it could even be your partner's energy or someone that is just affecting your relationship in some way. But it's time for you to get what you deserve and the time is now. You know, and I do feel like there are positive changes happening in your love life. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. These are the after tarot. It's what comes next after your traditional tarot. And I've been using it for future predictions. Amazing. And I, I'm, I'm thinking... This earth sign, I feel like, is fine. I don't feel like this water sign is. What's under him? Judgment. I think this water sign is the one causing you the pain. And if I'm not mistaken, actually, Aries, I already, I already did. I, don't, I didn't do all the water signs. I only did Scorpio. Oh, that's the only sign I did. And fire did show up in their reading. All right, let's see. I'm just going to, I'm going to clarify the Three of Swords for you. All right, well, there's, there's two of them. Of course, they had a fall. Um, all right, let's see what's here. Oh, wow, and this is on the Three of Swords, Aries. There, there's a relationship that's definitely ending. I'm, I'm going to get one more card here. Three of Swords on the Three of Swords. Wow. Wow. Okay, Aries. If you're dealing with a straight up Scorpio, I'm going to say that that's over. Again, you feel stuck, trapped. Just like with the hangman. You, there, there's definitely an ending here, and I, it's definitely what, sure, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces, but being that Scor you came up in Scorpios, and they also got this Three of Swords. I'm sorry to say, if you're dealing with a straight-up Scorpio, this is, I think it's going to be, now this is future prediction, keep in mind. There's going to be a pretty devastating breakup. And you are going to need to pull the swords out of your heart and, and, and move past it. Because you do have two perfect... This relationship is damaged, broken, hurt, anyway. You have two perfectly upright cups right behind you. All you, all you need to do, Aries, is turn around and see the light. You're not seeing shit right now because your eyes are closed. But you do have a soulmate connection here with someone as soon as you cut this person out of your life. You know, with judgment, I think somebody's going to finally see the light. Look at that. The Page of Cups is under there, too. And so is the star. Moving towards your hopes, wishes, and your dreams. That's an emotion. That's, you know... Very, very emotional. A tidal wave of emotion. This is a new beginning. A new love offer. Take it. Please. This one. And this is not. This comes up. This guy. This this Scorpio comes up a lot for you guys. He does. And the two of cups falling out twice is no coincidence. That's huge for you. You need to just really take this sword, cut this Scorpio out of your life because you, there is a soulmate relationship waiting for you. This person is causing you heartache, pain. And, you know, in, in my opinion, anybody that does this shit to you, that's some pretty painful shit. That's three swords deep in your heart, leaving you stuck. Hanging all the time. I 
Don't let it be a brutal breakup. Just let it go. Let it go. That's my advice. Let this Scorpio go. With death, there's always new beginnings. The sun will rise. It is rising. You just need to get out of this. That's a straight up breakup. If you're going to move toward an earth sign or, or even another fire sign, Sag, Virgo, Virgo, you have Sag and Virgo coming through strongly. All right, Aries. I mean, those of you that are dealing with a Scorpio and do not want to hear what I said, I mean, I'm sorry. It is what it is. You'll know if this is if this reading is meant for you, okay? You'll already be going through this for sure. But there is someone new for you. Absolutely, there is. The wheel's turning in your favor. And this is meant to be. Whatever's happening in your life right now with this Scorpio is meant to be. And I think this has been ongoing for a long time. The time is now to make changes. You have arrows of love coming right down at you. Take the love off her. It's better for you. All right, Aries, I love you guys. If the reading didn't resonate, please watch your other signs. But thank you so much for taking the time to view the video. And I will see you guys back here very soon. Take care, Aries.